What's up legions welcome to another video in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys my one month review of this device and stay tuned to the end of this video because lately you've been hearing a lot of people say return this device I'm going to tell you guys why you should do the complete opposite and do not return this device so if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel let's get right into this review so first of all I want to talk about the design and let you guys know how this design has been holding up since release and I have to to say i really enjoyed this device now i've put a lot of hours into playing games on the Lenovo Legion Go and i have to say that this actually feels really good in the hand to hold still and i still think that this 8.8 .8 inch display is still one of the best displays out there in the market so over here i have the steam deck OLED, and you know people have been touting this to be the new screen king and i have to say i still enjoy the screen of my little nova legion go better because not only is this a bigger display but it is vibrant and it is 144 hertz but people might say oh you can't even use 144 hertz to play games on this device i would say that is false it's a video coming up where i'll be showcasing some pretty big games running at 144 hertz but it's not about just using the 144 hertz to play games when it comes to navigating this device having a 144 hertz screen makes everything just more smooth so that's the bonus that you get with this as well but again i just love this display and i still think it's the display king now when it comes to this fps mode and detaching my controllers i will tell you how i use this i actually do not use fps mode but what i do tend to do is i find myself gaming a lot like this with the controllers detached just having the option to do this is a game changer there are times where you know i just don't feel like holding this device in my hands i can just play games like this or just use it like this to navigate so i can plop it up like this and again just browse the internet watch a movie like this so when it comes to design something that still throws me off is all the buttons that the controller has I know they were trying to do the whole FPS mode like I said before, which I hardly use. These buttons though, it's, it's too much, it's too much. And my hope is that when they make a second one of these, they do cut out a lot of these buttons. Because again, I don't think it's even necessary, even with FPS modes, just too much buttons here. I love the option of a scrum wheel here, but the location is absolutely terrible. I wish they moved it somewhere to where it's easy to access when I have it docked. Even with it undocked, it's still just hard to use. And this can be a game changer if it was at a good location to use. But again, it's not, so that's a big bummer. But I absolutely love the design of this device. And this kickstand, guys, I have to say it's a game changer. Every device should have a kickstand. Not only does this device have a kickstand, but it's a killer kickstand as well. So next I want to talk about the features of this device and let you guys know if they are gimmick or not. And like I said with FPS mode, just to throw that one out, I think that's a gimmick sadly to say. I don't use it as much and I'm hearing a lot of people don't use it. But let's talk about having dual USB-C ports. I think this is absolutely game changer and it's something that this device does that as competitors don't do. Again, I have the RGLI here and like I showed you guys, I have the Steam Deck OLED here. And again, this is USB-C 4, so this port is actually incredible because you can put an external GPU here if needed. But yeah, I love that this has two ports. Something that I do quite often is I use the XR glass like the Legion Go glass or the Verger XR glass that we just reviewed here. It's known that I can plug it up here and then have it charging as well it's a game changer like i stated before this device having a kickstand is something that these two devices don't have so again that's a game changer as well being able to detach the controllers it's really cool like i said before i use that quite a lot so when it comes to features, I believe this device is feature rich. And again, we've talked about the screen and how that has 144 Hertz It's 8.8. .8. I believe that's also a feature. So compared to the pack, this device is the most feature rich device. And again, I think that's something that this has going for it that the others don't have going for it. All right, so let's talk about Legion Space, which is the UI over Windows that runs this device. And I have to say, I'm actually growing to like this. Originally, 
when I got this device, this Legion Space lagged a lot, but they've made significant update to it to where they've added some new features to it and to where this is getting more snappy and I'll get to Lenovo at the end and how they've been doing an incredible job updating this, but they have. And I have to say this is now usable and I'm really enjoying it a lot. So again, this is quite snappy. Come here, you can check out all of your games, but I just want you guys to see how fast this is going now and how snappy it is. This button here opens the command center to where you can make some changes. As you can see, they've added some system quick sends here. It makes stuff easy to navigate. The FPS counter is now working when you're playing games. And yeah, they've done an incredible job of the Legion space, which I like. Originally, I had complaints about it, but just to let you guys know, a month later, it's now been improved significantly. So the next thing that I want to talk about here is performance of games, and I'm going to pull up Halo Infinite here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I have to say, guys, this device runs games beautifully. This is a secret that this device has that the others don't have. And with that secret, which I'll get into here in a bit, and I'm going to make a dedicated video about this, but is that this device can run games at 800p and run it really, really well to where you don't need to even use the 1200p or 1600. And I'll show you guys here. And again, a dedicated video is coming out here about this. But with running games at 800p here and having it look the way that it does, honestly, it is now the performance king. I think it has better performance than the Asus ROG Ally with this settings and also the Steam Deck OLED. So again, I'm come here. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So here we have Halo Infinite running. Look at my FPS here. And you'll see this game looks beautiful on this display. And this game actually is running at 800p. And with that, I'm able to get 60 FPS with Halo Infinite. Look how smooth this game looks running here. And it's again, again, 60 FPS here. Again, it's medium, it's, it's medium to low settings. But this game looks gorgeous, as you guys have seen here, running at 800p. And with that, like you've seen with FPS, we are getting high FPS count here. Now, the secret to this is using something called RIS. Yes, the RG Ally has this, but the Steam Deck does it. But with that being said, 800p fills up this display like you would be playing at 1200p, which is equivalent to 1080p. So with that and RIS, you actually don't need to play or run games at 1080p. And with that, again, you get a high FPS count, but not only that, this actually looks clean because it's upscaling. So it's a win-win combination here. And this is how I find myself playing most of my games on the Lenovo Legion Go. And with this, I would say it can handle the newest release titles and give you a good FPS playing it as well. So I believe this is a game changer. Now you can make the argument that you can do something similar with the Legion Go. But again, having a big massive display like this with an 8.8 inch display makes games just more immersive. So again, you can get similar results when it comes to performance on the RG Ally but you don't have this big gigantic display to immerse you in the experience like you would with the Ally and I believe this screen right here with this RIS and 800p makes this device a game changer because again again some really impressive FPS here and this just looks beautiful running these games. So another thing that really impresses me here is the battery life. I would have to say playing games at 800p like I showcased there using RIS does give you better battery life. But not only that, this has a bigger battery life than the RG Ally. So overall, I am getting a better battery experience on this device compared to the Ally. So that is huge. So my overall opinion, should you return this device? I would say, heck no. Out of all these three devices that I own here, this is my go-to driver, my daily driver, because like I stated, it has some 
features that I'm really looking forward to in my handheld PCs, having two USB-Cs, having a detachable controller, having a kickstand, all those things. And then this beautiful display, all those things come in handy. And something to note, this is actually my daily PC driver. So I don't take my laptop with me anywhere I go. This is all that I take. And I do have to say with this device, I can actually be really productive with my Bluetooth keyboard here. I actually have made videos on this device for our YouTube channel. So again, it's pretty impressive what you can do with this device. So personally, this device is a beast when it comes to gameplay performance, when it comes to multimedia as well with this beautiful display, when it comes to being productive using this as your daily driver. And the price is actually really impressive as well. So should you return this device? Again, I would say absolutely not. And if you you in the fence on whether you should still pick up this device i would say definitely go for it because this is still one of the best handheld pc in the market so let me talk about something that has been frustrating me something that i'm noticing with the negative reviews that this device has been getting lately so when this device launched it was talked about a lot a lot of people had nothing but positive things to say about it i noticed a change happened when the Steam Deck OLED was released. Now you can say that there are fanboys there, whatever the case might be, but something that I think that happened, and this is my opinion, right? Is that because of the Steam Deck OLED releasing, reviewers or YouTubers had to choose between picking either this or the Steam Deck OLED. And the reason I say this, because I've seen some video out there where some YouTubers give this praise compliment, and then later they said that they're going to return it to get this. Again, these devices are not cheap. I get it, right? So when you are covering content, you have to get the latest, hottest thing that everyone's talking about so you can get views. I get it. And I think that's the shift that we're seeing with YouTubers or tech reviewers going from this to this. You hear people say, oh, I'm returning it. Some people don't even mention that. They just stop covering, say they stop covering it. Next, you see Steam Deck OLED in the channel. That means that they returned this device to get Steam Deck OLED. Because again, when this device came out, it was pretty hot. Everyone's talking about it. And then the Steam Deck OLED just surprised everyone with the release of coming out two weeks after this. And I think that's the issue that we've seen with, with YouTube is saying that they're going to return this device. Personally, I'm telling you guys, if you were in the market to get this device, do your own research. Because I think that this device is one of the best ones out there, hands down. I also love the RG Ally, but this is my daily driver because it has a lot of great things going for it. And yeah, don't listen to those negative reviews. Go to Best Buy, test out this device, and make that choice for yourself. Now, the last thing I want to say about the Legion Go is that Lenovo has been killing it with the update to this device. Every Friday, it's like clockwork. We get an update from Ben on the Reddit post, letting us know what is actually coming next for this device. They have not missed a week since they started this. So like I told you guys, Legion Space with its issues that it had at lunch has been completely reworked and works really well now. And they just keep adding features to this device. And they've been, again, consistent and transparent with communication about what's coming to this device. And for that alone, I have to say it's worth considering getting this so my one month review with the legion go this is absolutely a game changer this device is going to disrupt the market for a bit and yeah i think it's going to be here for for quite some time because again performance is on point with the 800p and the ris but yeah let me know what are your thoughts on this device are you guys on the fence of getting this device are you guys going to pick up this device we'll like to know in the comments below Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.